Good day, human audio slates. This is Ladio Suzuro, and welcome back for another Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi battle. Here we are with a battle spot free battle, single battle style with Chinchino, Porygon 2, and Sylveon. Now, Bram has a team that kind of annoys me. Here's what happened. Now, right off the bat, I let off with Chinchino, and. Well, let's just say Bram let off with the worst possible thing for me, Mawile. Being Steel Fairy, I can't do anything to it with Chinchino. Plus, it got the Intimidate down, so I could do less than nothing. However, I kind of figured it was going to be Mega, so yeah. Literally, I could do nothing to that thing. So I just went for a Tail Slap. I understood that I wasn't going to do anything on that thing. But the only thing I could do was pretty much sacrifice Chinchino. I don't like doing that, but the thing is, Chinchino was not going to be able to help with the Mawile. I couldn't send in Sylveon, because I knew I was going to need Sylveon later on in the battle. I needed Porygon 2 to handle this, so I couldn't afford for Porygon 2 to get extra damage down on it from the Mawile. So... I just... Had to sacrifice Chinchino. Now, I did trace the huge power, which means absolutely nothing because, well, being especially offensive Porygon 2, huge power isn't going to help at all. Now, he actually went for the Sucker Punch, I guess predicting for me to actually attack him instead of going for a Recover. So since I kind of knew he was going to go for the Sucker Punch for priority, I actually went for a Recover this time. So this way, he wasn't going to be able to get rid of Porygon 2 in the next turn. Now, he probably predicted me to go for another Recover to get back to full health, but I didn't. I went for a Thunderbolt because I kind of figured that that was my best bet, just get rid of the Mawile. So he went into Umbreon. At that point, I figured that's my chance to recover. And, well, that's what I did. <laughs> but that Umbreon was a nightmare. So, his Umbreon was at, well, max special defense. So, he obviously made a very defensive, well, a lot of investment in defense. So, although it was becoming very slow with the curse, kept on set, keeps on setting up curses, with increasing attack and defense. So, meaning physical defense is increasing, physical offense is increasing, and it already has... Um, max investment in special defense. Now, I was able to get the Paralyzed Hacks on it, but because of the Synchronize, I kind of got Paralyzed as well. Not much I can do about that, but at the very least, at least it's Paralysis, not a Burn, not Freeze, I guess. I, I don't know how much a Freeze Hacks would really make that big a difference. In my luck, the Umbreon would default first anyway. So all I can do is keep going for Try Attacks while this thing basically stalls me out. I mean, got some paralyzed hacks on that thing, but it's leftovers. I, I, I mean, that Umbreon is stall. It's made for stall. <laughs> so, got that try attack down, and then I learned, yes, this is by far a definite stall. <laughs> and it's for the Moon Blast. Oh, uh, sorry, Moonlight. My bad. Uh, I can't... I really can't do much about the Umbreon because, well, all it's going to do is stall me out. I mean, it's not doing anything so far, but I went for a payback. Let's just say that's going to hurt. I mean, it could it could have done more, I suppose, but I just want a Porygon 2 back at full health. But I also didn't want Porygon 2 to be kind of paralyzed. So, can't win them all. The Umbreon's still setting up curses. I can't really do too much about that, so as a result, I just, well, let him set up his curse and switch out. So Porygon 2 is a full health, so I just go into Sylveon, who will actually have a stab super effective move, and the Umbreon is, well, stopped from, para um, from the paralysis, so I figure it's since the Umbreon is paralyzed, probably a good time to go for a heal bell. Just to get rid of the paralysis on Porygon 2, 
because I figure it's probably going to be necessary. Although, who knows, I might not. Just in case Sylveon goes down, I wanted to be able to have a healthy Porygon 2. At that point, I just go for a Hyper Voice. Now, I figure because of the max special defense, it's probably not going to be enough to take out the Umbreon. Then it goes for a Payback. It's not very effective, but it's Stab. But it's still going to do a lot because it does have a very high attack, and the Hyper Voice did a lot of damage on it. But it's still not going to be enough to take out Sylveon, so I'm able to go for another Hyper Voice, and that will take out the Umbreon. So yes, this is a lot of stall for, for, for a three Pokemon team. Then his last Pokemon, of course, is a Sableye. Of course it's going to be a Sableye. But that's okay with me, because I can just go for a Hyper Voice. He is going to give me the Toxic Orb, but it doesn't really matter too much. He's going to take that Pixie Plate, but this is Stab and super effective. It's going to take out the Sableye easily, and that's going to be game. But seriously, stall much? So, yeah, that was kind of a lot of stall, but hey, managed to come out with um, on top with Sylveon. Sylveon to the rescue. So, thank you for watching, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.